Hey everybody, Shannon here from Gimmeyak.com. Here we are today back in the Forged in Fog update for Dead by Daylight, going for the Adept Vittorio achievement. This one's going to be done from the survivor side. It is to escape a game as Vittorio, only using his three unique perks. You're going to do this with the new character in the form of Vittorio. You're going to need to get him to a minimum of level 10, so you open up three free perk slots. These are going to be the perks you want to run and only run. Potential Energy. Then you want Fogwise, and then finally the third one you want to do is going to be Quick Gambit. Leave the fourth slot empty if you have that available to you, and you can do whatever you want for items, add-ons, or offerings. Hop into the game, and then your goal is to just escape with this character. So this character is going to primarily be built around generators. His first major perk that you can notice is going to be the ability to store his generator progress. So after a few seconds on a gen, you're going to basically get this ability, so just press the button to activate it and then basically you can bank up your gen progress and the cool thing about this is you can move it to a different generator so for example if you want to build up your gen progress to store you can take it off whatever generator you're working on and then apply it to a different generator there's going to be a small trade-off however it is going to be pretty useful if you need to spread your gen progress around the map do keep in mind, while you are banking up this progress using this ability, you are going to lose all your progress if you do end up taking any damage or missing a skill check, so make sure you do take the risks accordingly. Of course, nothing beats good old Dead by Daylight fundamentals, so if you want to avoid the ability altogether, might as well do that and just fix the generators like normal. On to his second ability, this one is also going to be a generator based one. Whenever you are repairing a generator, if you hit a great skill check, you are basically going to get an aura read on the killer. So if you're really good at the quick time events and you are hitting those great skill checks consistently, you should be able to tell where the killer is and then plan accordingly. This one can come especially in handy if you are up against a killer who is going to have a more stealthy approach to their gameplay, so you don't have to completely worry about their terror radius. If you are good and super focused on the generators, you can basically use your aura reading ability, and then you can pinpoint where the killer is at all times, and then make sure you keep your distance appropriately. Now, if you are the player who doesn't like to play the objective, his third perk is going to be super handy if you are really good at baiting the killer. If you are being chased by the killer, anyone who is going to be working on a generator close by is going to get a small boost. So try to keep your killer chases near generators that other teammates are working on and you should be able to help them out. But of course, just like with any other character, nothing beats good old Dead by Daylight fundamental. So get those generators fixed, open up one of the exit gates, or escape through the hatch if that situation presents itself. Nonetheless, whatever escape method you do do using these three perks, and only these three perks, should get you the achievement once you hit the results screen. So here we are, getting to the finish line, popping open the exit gate in this scenario. And then once we make our grand escape and hit that results screen, we should be good for the achievement. So here we are, and it should pop shortly thereafter. There it is. This one's going to be for 20 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.